everyone, it's Dr. Joyce the Dentist. Have you ever used a tongue scraper? If you haven't, and I mean this in all seriousness, <laughs> your jaw will be dropping when you see what these little tools can actually clean off of your tongue. You know, we use toothbrushes to clean our teeth and then floss to get between them. But what about our tongues? It's said that as much as 90% of bad breath bacteria are actually hidden on the bumpy little surfaces of our tongue. And yes, you can brush your tongue. A lot of people do this, but it doesn't clean off nearly as much bacteria as a tongue scraper does. Tongue scrapers usually come in one or two varieties, plastic or metal. You can find them at just about any grocery store next to the toothbrushes and floss. And they're fairly affordable on Amazon. I'll link my favorite one down below. Let's dive into tongue scrapers. Both the metal and plastic designs are made to where you place the curved scraper on top of your tongue and scrape it without hurting those tiny bumpy little papillas. Now, ideally you want to start as far back on the tongue as you can. If you have a sensitive gag reflex, this may be a bit of a process and take some practice. Once you've placed it on the back of your tongue, apply gentle pressure and slowly drag it forward towards the tip of your tongue. Always move the scraper from back to front, never the other way around. Now look at what comes off. Yeah, scrape your tongue two to three times, rinsing your tongue scraper off between each swipe. And for my gaggers out there, just be patient with yourself. Start a little closer to the edge of your tongue and slowly work your way further back with each swipe. You can also play little tricks like smiling, which naturally suppresses your gag reflex, or sprinkling a tiny little bit of salt on the tip of your tongue first. And if you don't have an actual tongue scraper yet, you can actually just use a spoon. That's just a little dental secret that I thought I would share. However, when you get the chance, pick up a legit tongue scraper because they are very good at removing and cleaning your tongue. Now, when you pair tongue scraping with brushing and flossing, it can dramatically improve your breath and help you enjoy a cleaner mouth. So for people who are struggling with halitosis and chronic bad breath, this can be a really helpful oral hygiene aid in addition to treating other things like gum disease, sinus drainage, and regular dental cleanings. When you go to buy your first tongue scraper, you should know that most of them are reusable, but there are disposable options out there as well. The reusable ones can be either two-handed or one-handed, and the one-handed versions have a handle with a large loop on the end. You just hold them like a toothbrush and then scrape the top of your tongue the same way I just explained. Personally, I prefer the two-handed ones. I find that they provide more control. With these, you hold either end with each hand, bend it, and then place the curved area on the back of your tongue. This design lets you clean a bit wider of an area, getting the whole tongue, or most of it, at the same time. Whereas the one handled one, you might have to use a few more times before you get the whole tongue clean. After you use your tongue scraper, rinse it off and let it air dry, ideally in an upright holder like you would with your toothbrush. You can also run most of them through the dishwasher like this one if you want to get it really, really nice and clean or disinfect it after being sick. Now with the disposable tongue scrapers, you usually get a few uses out of each one before you have to throw them away. Just make sure you rinse them off with water each time. These are made usually for traveling. Ultimately, is one particular type of tongue scraper necessarily better than another? Not really. It comes down to your personal preference, but I prefer these stainless steel ones because you can throw them in the dishwasher and they last a very, very long time. The plastic ones need to be replaced every three months. So when you brush Brush, floss, scrape, and rinse, you pretty much guarantee yourself that you're gonna have the freshest breath possible. Again, that's assuming you don't have any underlying infections like cavities, periodontitis, going on at the same time. But just think about it. Your tongue makes up a large part of your mouth. If you're brushing and flossing, but not cleaning your tongue off, there's still plenty of food debris and germs that can cause odors the rest of the day. Chances are, once you start using a tongue scraper and seeing what all the stuff is that is coming off, you'll never go back to not using one, especially after experiencing how clean your mouth feels. You can tell I'm very passionate about tongue scrapers. Now, the first time you use one, you'll probably see a thick layer of yellow or white filmy buildup with each swipe, and you'll start to see less and less the more you continue to use one. While you might not ever get every little germ particle out from in between the tiny little papilla all over your tongue, you can still get a lot of it. And I do wanna make a point that completely removing the white film off your tongue is not the goal. It's just to clean the tongue 
every single day and uh, maintain a certain level of cleanliness on that tongue. Now here's your homework. Get a tongue scraper or spoon and see exactly what comes off. Then let me know what you guys think. I can't wait to hear how surprised you are afterwards. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.